Hey guys, so I'm still at my parents' house and it is the weekend now, so I thought I would take you along with us because I think we're going to do some fun things today. David got in town last night and we had a little date night. We just went to dinner, um, but it was nice to not have Cal. So I think we're going to do some fun things today and I did go shopping again. I kind of told you that I probably would because there's, a, there's just a lot of stores here that I like to go to um, whenever I come in town for baby clothes. So I hit them up and I'll show you guys what I got. So the first store is Janie and Jack. Every time I come here, I have to go to Janie and Jack. I just think they have the cutest clothes. They are a little bit on the pricey side. I go to the outlet, which I think the outlet is actually the same as the regular store. They just have like different sales. Um, but I'll tell the prices of everything too. So the first thing I got is this. I think Cal might wear this today. I got it in 12 to 18 months because that's the biggest size they had. But I think it'll fit him for a while still. And it's just so cute. It's a little cardigan. This was $22. So it's kind of similar to like, I don't know, maybe like Carter's if it wasn't on sale. Which Carter's is always on sale. So it's just like... A little bit more pricey than most places um, I also got him this little sweater or hoodie I guess it's got a little hood it's really lightweight it's got like a little pocket in the front and some buttons it's just like reminds me of something you'd wear like on a boat this was 24 and then I also got this for Cal you guys know I like buy everything that's pink for him this says Nantucket Sailing Club it's just a little t-shirt I just thought it was cute for summer like with his um, you know, cute like printed shorts and like some Sperry's. This was $15. And then the rest of the stuff I got for the new baby. So I got these little sweater pants. Just really cute and soft and cuddly. And these were 12 And I also got him some little shoes. I don't really put shoes on babies that much. I remember when Cal was little. Um... The shoes always just fell right off, but there's still like certain times when I want him to have shoes on, like for pictures or for church or something special. So I just thought these were really precious and cute and they'll go with a lot of things because they're just baby blue. Um, these were uh, $14. And then I also got him this cute little um, play suit that's just like super simple red white and blue i just thought it was really classic it's for 16 dollars, and i know i said like in my previous hauls that i have so much clothing already for baby number two because he has all of cal's hand-me-downs and so what i've decided to do is go through and pick out the stuff that's not like my absolute favorite because there's a lot of like onesies and like just random things that i don't like absolutely love and i'm gonna leave that at my parents house so that way he's always got like extra clothes here when we come to visit and I don't have to worry about packing. And then um, I can also like feel not so guilty about buying a ton of stuff for his wardrobe. And then I also just got a bunch of socks because I love their socks. I try to get them when they're $1.99. I feel like that's not too terrible. So I just got some solid white ones, some little turtles. These are going to be for the new baby. I keep wanting to say his name. Um, some Argyle ones and then some stripey ones. So super cute. Then I went into Gap and I'll try to be quick because I know I want to vlog today too. But I wanted to show you guys what I found at Gap. Um, hopefully this sale is going on for a while when I publish this video so you can get on it. Um, but they were doing an extra 50% off their clearance. So I kind of just got stuff because I was like, oh my gosh, this stuff is so cheap. I mean, yes, I love it all, and it's really, really adorable, but like, it was just like the prices were too good to pass up. So I got some stuff for Cal, which pretty much will be for this coming fall. So like, you know, November, December of this year. So way, way far from now, but I figured the prices were just too good to pass up. So everything, in my opinion, looks humongous. It's all 2T. But I figured I might as well stock up on it now while it's cheap because he has obviously he doesn't have any fall clothes for next year because that's so far away. Um, but I just got like some cute little sweatpants. These were four dollars. Four dollars. Um, I also got these sweatpants. These are like really thick and fuzzy and they just say gap. These were three dollars and fifty cents. 
Um, I thought this little long sleeve gap tee is just cute and basic for four dollars. And then I love this sweater for like Thanksgiving or like holidays. It's just navy. It's got the like uh, Sherpa. And then it also has like brown leather sleeves. And this was five bucks. So I got all that for Cal. So cheap. And then for baby number two. Actually I got one other thing for Cal. I saw these pajamas and I fell in love with them. They are fleece pajamas with Mickey Mouse all over them. And it's a set, and these were $2.50. So I got one in size six to 12 months and one in size um, 24 months because that's all they had. They just had these two pairs. So I was like, okay, well, baby number two will fit in these and Cal will fit in those. They won't fit in them at the same time, but that doesn't matter. I was just like, that is too good of a deal to pass up. So I got those, and then I also found this shirt. This was, or sweater. This was $4.50. Um, this will be for new baby and then I also got him some little shorts because these were a dollar and then these little pants were four dollars a piece so I just got some like mint color and some gray color so I got all that stuff for ridiculously cheap so if you have a gap I highly suggest to go check it out and check out their clearance stuff because you can't beat those prices you get it where are you gonna put it Oh man. So we just picked up um, Dunkin' Donuts. We're going to go visit my friend. Thugger, thugger. Just had a baby. I already saw him yesterday and he's so sweet. So we're going to go visit him because David didn't get to see him yet. And we're bringing Dunkin' Donuts and coffee and she was craving a soda. So, But the Dunkin' Donuts by her house is 99 cents during from like noon to 6 every day for an iced coffee, which is so cheap and it's so yummy. If a baby were president, there'd be no war. What does that mean? It's a tweet by Jaden Smith. Okay, no. It is. Cal, is that your favorite meal, chips and salsa? <laughs> Jeez. It's mommy's favorite meal right now too. I'm obsessed with chips and salsa right now. We took off his jacket so that he could have it. Oh yeah, show your food. <laughs> he did okay with the um with the baby. He wasn't as bad as yesterday. He let me hold him, but he still freaked out a little bit. Didn't you? You got pretty jealous. He's not even in a booster seat. You're such a big boy. <laughs> he needed the snack while he watches them. He's just staring at another table for like 20 minutes. <laughs> Are we bad for letting him just do that?
is exhausting. <sighs> okay, thoughts on the magic house? <laughs> I liked it. I'd rather come on like a Tuesday, but oh my gosh, he had so much fun. I think that's the most fun he's had his whole 19 months of his life. I would not miss a <laughs> He had so much fun. <laughs> I think that's going to be similar to the Itty Bitty City that we have in Springfield. So we just did the Magic House, if you couldn't tell from all that footage, and he had a blast. Don't be confused with the Science Center. David thought we were going to the Science Center, but they're different. We'll do that next time. And next time I won't wear high heels. <laughs> Running after a toddler up and down stairs and on like mazes and stuff. All right, we found the furniture store. Whoever you sit across from. So you want to be on my team? Wow, you're never on my team. Couples against couples. Uh-oh. Couple of losers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's gold for St. Patrick's Day, huh? It's like yeah. Irish gold. So is one bathroom not enough for you, darling? You talking to me? No. You talking to me? Yes. <laughs> oh, with my makeup in there? Oh my god. I told her. What'd you say? I said you can't take up two bathrooms. Natalie. Yeah, you take up almost every room. And it's the guest one. I put your stuff down here that was in here. Hmm. We are getting ready We're to play. A, what is it? What? Five bedroom house and you've got four of the bedrooms? No, two of them belong to our children. Oh. You had four. Now you have three. <laughs> we are getting ready to play Spades, which is our favorite game. It's a four person game, so we can only play when we have four people. And it's really confusing, so we have to have four intelligent people <laughs> to play. <laughs> So where are you going to get somebody to play for you, Clarissa? Ooh. Wow, <laughs> Dad. Yeah. Ooh, Anyways, ouch. I hope you wow, guys breaking out new cars. enjoyed new cars. today's new video. We had so much fun today. Cal had so much fun, and it was a blast. Say goodbye, David. <laughs> Bye, guys. Who are you talking to?